And good evening now. Thanks for being with us. I'm J.R. Barry. And I'm Darcy Strickland. It looks like that merger deal between old Domi between Dominion Energy and Scana has taken legs and will be moving forward. Our Jacob Reynolds checked with the company to see what changes you can expect the next time you get an SCENG bill. As the Dominion takeover of Scana and SCENG was made official on Wednesday, the change here was subtle but noticeable. A Dominion Energy sign replacing what was a Scana sign. As SCENG was formally made a part of Dominion Energy's Southeast Energy Group, spokesman Ryan Frazier says customers won't see any big changes right away. No, you won't see any sudden change. Uh, the first, uh, first potential change you would see wouldn't be for six months, and that would be uh, uh, after regulatory approvals on any uh, name changes that we would consider. But the new Public Service Commission mandated reduced rates, bringing the average customer's bill to about $125, will roll out next month. You'll start seeing in bills uh, for, the February first, uh, for the February cycle. The merger comes after SCANA and SCENG were hit repeatedly for failings at the VC Summer Nuclear Project, which was eventually abandoned in 2017. Fraser says for the moment, the failed project will wait. Uh, Dominion Energy has no plans uh, or will not uh, finish construction of those reactors. Um, but any decision on uh, any decision on the current property is uh, yet to be made. In the meantime, current SCENG customer online accounts and account numbers will remain the same. And Fraser says there are no current plans to lay off SCENG employees. Current employee compensation is protected through July 2020 as part of the merger. Those reduced rates will stay in effect till 2021 when Dominion Energy will have a chance to bring a new rate case in front of the Public Service Commission here in the state. Reporting in Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. Well, Fraser says Dominion plans to launch, launch a customer education plan to explain future rate design in South Carolina. He also said the company will focus on transparency in front of the Public Service Commission. VC Summer has been open since 1984 when Unit 1 went online. In 2007, state lawmakers passed the Baseload Review Act, allowing utilities to increase rates to recover the cost of building the plant. One year later, SCNG submitted applications for two new reactors. In March of 2013, construction on the first of those two new reactors started. In the years since, the project faced a number of delays and budget increases. In March 2017, Westinghouse filed for bankruptcy protection. The company was SCNG's main partner in construction of the reactors. And then in June of 2017, Westinghouse's parent company, Toshiba, agreed to pay $2.2 billion to SCNG and state-owned utility Santee Cooper. Just over a month later, construction on the project came to a sudden halt. The decision cost more than 6,000 people their jobs. Even after construction ended, customers were still paying for it. Since then, several lawsuits have been filed by ratepayers asking for SCENG to refund the money to its customers. So far, customers have paid about $2 billion toward SCENG's project debt. In late September of last year, SCENG customers did see some relief on their power bills. The average customer is saving about $25 per month on their power bills due to that rate decrease passed by lawmakers. SCENG did file a motion to stop the rate decrease, but that was denied by the courts.